Victor Solovyov, I believe the guy is a Russian GM. And let's see if he knows Russo Gambit. Or Russo Gambit, man. Or Nakmason. I'll do it if he plays. Yesterday I beat an IM 3 0 with Nakmason. He just told me after the match, Maya, that was impressive. I don't even know who the guy is. Because it's. Let's go! If 94 93, are you ready? Let's go! For the first time, live. Nakmason Gambit white pieces. He takes like this, you take like this. Give check d5. Go rookie one, whatever he does. Actually, if he plays king g6, then I should take on e4. I expect bishop e7 and d6. But in that case, another GM can suffer here so bad. Uh, I played yesterday a game like this. A rookie four. The guy played c6 and I am played played exactly like this against me. Exactly. Check. Now he has to go like this. And now you play bishop g5. And say, man, it's time to go home. Learn the Nakmason Gambit. Let's go. So just like you see, it works perfectly fine in Blitz. Now I want to triple my pieces. His king remained in the center. Uh, he's not even aware. Uh, rookie four. D5, I'll play like this, okay. Yep, let's go with this. If he takes on B2, Okay, I'll go with this move. He wants to play rookie four, obviously. Bishop e7, bishop e7. Uh, fine. I have nothing to say against that. I'll take like this because I'm pretty cool about this continuation. Bishop g7, I even see some hidden queen a3 idea to keep the pressure on the e7. I just need to remove my knight and to push it with f3. Sorry, his bishop, my, my fault. He wants to make castle, right? Can I go with... Let me just see. Knight d2. Bishop g7. Let's go with this move. I want to play f3. If he plays bishop g7, he's going to temporarily solve his problems, but just temporarily. Because now he's got problems with this knight. And I believe it's not going to help him that much. Threatening here, he can't make castle. Knight for oh, can I take by rook? Uh, can I take by rook? I'm so tempted to go with it, but let me just finish him off in the simplest possible fashion with f3. Threatening to take on e7 with check. If any check, I just go with a king on h1. Nakmeson Gambit works in its full fashion. Knight e4, king h1. And after all, what is happening? He's got a terrible king on f7. I'm having an attack. I'm even threatening here. Queen takes h7. Rook h8. Okay, I won't do it. I'll first play c3. I'll first do this one. And then I'm gonna just show you how big is Maya. First, this one. And then this check. Oh my goodness. And first check, and this one, 
And now I, I'm just gonna open up the... Yes. I'll just open it up. Bishop F4, man. Don't even hope that's gonna... I love it. And Nakmes on Gambit. It works against GMs. Bishop's opening. Is he ready for a Rusev Gambit? Let's go! Or is he ready for a Nakmes on with 94? Let's go, baby! I'm gonna take it. I'll play check. And go back with bishop d3. I don't care about that move. So if you like play like d takes c3, I don't care. I sacrifice like everything. I wanna play some 95. Ah, that's a problem. He didn't let me go with that, doesn't matter. I'll go here. I wanna go queen h5, knight g4. Let's just go with it. Knight h6. Queen f3, threatening check here, right? Take on b7. Can I take on e6? Can I take on e6? I can't anymore. Can I go with the bishop b5? Just see. How can I finish this guy? Bishop G7. Huh? I can do much with that piece. I'm talking about the bishop and B5. Two, four, six, seven, three, five. I'm down two pawns. Actually, yeah. But I don't care about the pawns in, in the neck missile. Let's go with this. If he plays bishop c8, I don't care. I want to play bishop h6 next. Let's go here. If he takes on c2, I'm going to put my... Yeah. I'm slowly but surely getting there. Get ready there. I just need to remove the defender. That's the last piece I gotta remove in this position. Now I'm threatening check. Nakmes on Gambit works. It works. I beat a GM previously. Now I'm beating up this guy. hiding his name it's very interesting that the Nakmes on Gambit in Blitz almost works 100% I'm shocked by the way I'm threatening Queen E5 F6 for H7 mate so la and he resigned Nakmes on Gambit another fantastic game let me just see something on the analysis board so for all of you who are interested in this I played a game like this yesterday against an IM and I won exactly like this castles uh, I didn't play h3 in that game I played rook b1 immediately and when he captured I played knight e5 and when the guy captured I took by rook he played c6 because I was threatening rook d5 and I played queen h5 he played g6 and I played queen h6 I was threatening rook h5 and it was like a very messy game where I managed to eventually win. Uh, that's the game from yesterday. I played h3. Just like you see, according to the engineer, like minus three. But I really enjoy my position here. So take a look at this. He's practically in a very difficult situation here. No matter uh, what does engine say. Bishop b5, knight d4, queen to d3. Engine says all the time minus three. But you just, you know what? They can feel the pressure. This queen g3, I... I could have, I could have felt like after rookie seven, he literally had no move, uh, in my opinion, and it's minus three according to the engine. But it drops. I played bishop h6. He captured, and now all of a sudden you're just winning. Um, quite an interesting one. 